been reading the story, there was an old lady who swallowed a turkey. That silly old lady. Now we know why she eventually, and why she swallowed all these things, but we have been using our ordinal numbers to figure out what happens first, next, then, after that, after that, and then we also have our finally at the end. So these numbers can mean when we say and orally retell a story, first, she swallowed a turkey. Second, she swallowed a ball, a football. Then she swallowed a hat. After that, she swallowed a balloon. Next, she swallowed a, a what is this, a boat, yep. And then after that, she swallowed tires. And then finally, or last, or this is our seventh, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things. She swallowed her horn of plenty, which is also a cornucopia, we know that. Now we've used our ordinal numbers, so it helps us out to understand what happens first, second, next, then. And I know that it might be a little confusing because you're like, Miss Sparks, we have been putting things together, and that was our beginning, middle, and end. But for something like this, it gives us different steps. It shows us different things that happen for a second, next, then. So this story is a little bit different in that. I want us to figure out what happens first, next, then, after that, and so on and so forth. Now we've already done all this. What I want us to think about is how does this crazy old lady use all these things? Why does she swallow all these things? So when we read, and I'm sure you're like, Miss Sparks, I already know because we've read through the story. But I want you really to think about Okay, why does she swallow all of these things? So as I read, I want you to be thinking about that. So there was an old lady who swallowed a turkey by Lucio Colandro and illustrated by Jared Lee. All right, let's go. There was an old lady who swallowed a turkey. I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's been, but she's always been quirky. Oh, we've been working on that Q-U sound. Quirky. Well, that turkey does not want to be swallowed either. There was an old lady who swallowed a ball. Oh, she stood very tall as she swallowed that ball. She swallowed the ball to throw with the turkey. I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's always been, that's right, quirky. There was an old lady who swallowed a hat. Imagine that she swallowed a hat. What are these people? What's their reactions doing down here? Yeah, they're a little scared. They're a little confused. She swallowed the hat to cover the ball. She swallowed the ball to throw with the turkey. I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's always been quirky. There was an old lady who swallowed a balloon. She felt as big as the moon when she swallowed the balloon. Yeah, because when you swallow a balloon, so you have that helium in there and it makes you float. Well, in real life, this is, remember, it's fiction, it's fantasy. She swallowed the balloon to bump the hat. She swallowed the hat to cover the ball. She swallowed the ball to throw with the turkey. I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's always been quirky. There was an old lady who swallowed a boat. I slid down her, it slid down her throat when she th swallowed that boat. Oh, I don't think so. So we're up to our boat. We're at fifth right now, because first she swallowed turkey, then she swallowed a ball. After that, she swallowed a hat. Next, she swallowed a balloon. And then after that, she swallowed that boat. That's where we at right now. Let's keep going. She swallowed the boat to anchor the balloon. She swallowed the balloon to bump the hat. She swallowed the hat to cover the ball. She swallowed the ball to throw with the turkey. I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's always been quirky. So now we're at the, almost to the sixth, which we know is our tires. So let's see. There was an old lady who swallowed some wheels. She kicked up her heels when she swallowed those wheels. She swallowed the wheels to drive the boat. Makes sense. She swallowed the boat to anchor the balloon, right? Because you don't want to be flowing and floating away. She swallowed the balloon to bump the hat. She swallowed the hat to cover the ball. She swallowed the ball to throw with the turkey. 
I don't know why she swallowed the turkey, but she's always been quirky. Last thing. There was an old lady who swallowed a horn of plenty, or a cornucopia, we know that. She, should have, she could have swallowed 20 horns of plenty. So horns of plenty, they have all the different things that we eat during Thanksgiving. You might have some, some fruits, some vegetables, some pumpkins. Just then the old lady heard a band. So she marched her way onto the grandstand. Oop, all of the stuff is coming back up. So thinking about how does she use these things? Why did she swallow all these things? As the parade got underway, she wished everyone a happy Thanksgiving day. So right here, let's look at this, this, these two pages right here. So she got the hat and put it on the turkey. Remember, the boat is holding down the balloon, or sorry, the, yes, holding down the balloon. Then you have your tires here so that he, she can roll on by on her float. So we can call this a float. She also has the football and she's throwing that out. And she has her horn of plenty and she's sharing it with everybody else. So in a parade, so she makes a float in a parade. So she uses each and every one of these things because guess what, you can't have a float unless you have something to drive and have it on there to go by. And so that's why she has her boat and she has her tires and it's a Thanksgiving Day parade. So I don't know if you've seen the Macy's Day Thanksgiving parade. They have uh, turkeys, well, not real turkeys. They have these big balloons of all these different characters. So on your jam board, you are gonna draw what she does with all these things. So you're just gonna draw this, drawing her in a parade with all the things that she swallowed. So remember that you can look at your graphic organizer to help you get all those things in that photograph. So make sure when you draw your picture, all these seven things are in it, because guess what? It is all in it right here. So Miss Sparks is gonna upload this picture onto my Jamboard, meeting number one. So if you need to help um, just to remember how everything looked. So make sure you get everything because she swallowed all those things for a specific reason.